This is a Oberheim Matrix 1000 analog sound module. It is a rack mount unit. It is capable of operating with six other units just like itself and a master unit. This particular unit has six voice channels through it and is capable of 1000 presets. 200 of those presets are prog programmable. The other 800 right now have been programmed by uh, IEEE -E data form and I'll go through those here in just a minute with what they sound like. Um, I'm going to turn this up for you. Okay, and we're just going to get some audio through here. Okay, so the uh, use of this with the selector switch, I can roll through the settings here and the patch. Sound sample 900. And I can adjust that either one at a time, up or down. Or I could use a numeric P to set it. Okay. As I was telling you, the first 200 are programmable. And right now there's nothing loaded in those spaces. So if I were to enter a number less than 199, there's no sound effect. You can program this through three different methods. You can program it through your computer with the use of a matrix 6R library to input sound samples, or you can use the matrix 6 are to edit the sound samples that are already in it. You can use a uh, matrix keyboard to program the unit. And um, you can use the matrix master module to program the unit. Now this matrix 6 has got six voice channels within it. This matrix 6 also operates with six other units just like itself in addition to the master module. Right now I don't have the master module hooked up to it and I don't have any ability to tell you how it integrates with the other components but I, as this unit it sits right now I have it hooked to a keyboard and a personal lamp and it works great. There's no problems with it. I've gone through the manual, which I've printed out for you, and have understood this thing to its basics. It's very simple to use, very easy instructions to read. And so, if I wanted a sound sample that I recall was a nice sound, Fosfor 227, that's easy. That's all I would do to it. The um, selections here, I would run through with the select button. I have six different selections to run through. The patch of your sound samples. The next selection is our channel selection, which gives you uh, control over what instruments have dominance or precedence in the formation of the sound waves. So if I had a uh, guitar uh, effects pedal that was on channel 3, I would be able to adjust this to channel 3 and give it control as far as if it's going to be loud or lagging, any other sound waves within this unit. Next we have the fine tune, which I would use to program this unit to the same intonation as the keyboard so that I can keep all my instruments within the orchestra, the same intonation. 
I have next the units control function, which allows me to set which particular module, the actual matrix 1000 module, has precedence in sound order. Then the data dump is what I would use to actually transfer one sound sample from one module to another module or to the master module and that way I can program uh, further extensions of my original modules. And then next I have an extended functions key which gives me uh, such options as uh, voice unison where I can make all six voices within this unit or 36 total if I had it in tandem with five other units and give them an order of priority. I could uh, have echo effects on there. I can uh, create, I can make this unit true itself so that all the voices are to the same intonation from the same instrument through this same function here. I can use this to uh, take the sound and raise it or drop it down two octaves. Uh, there are several, there's several functions here, here within the extend function. I'm going to get a part of mine here to play the keyboards and we're going to run through the uh, sounds that are available in the sound bay. And I'll show you, it's a lot of fun. We've sat here for hours just playing. <laughs> Five seconds a piece, it seems like, and you can sit through over a hundred of them for an hour. I can also use, I can also use the uh, numerical pad to find my selection quickly. So I went from 223 or whatever to 233. Let me finish this one that up. Okay. And again, just dialing up and Change it. 